guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, and today is going to be my powder foundation routine. And I tried to do my hair, I don't know, let's just ignore, but Beyonce inspired me some way, I don't know. I just didn't wanna have my typical fun day bun day. But today I'm going to be showing you my powder foundation routine, and I'm really excited to show you this because I find that sometimes when you get into the habit or routine of using liquid foundations, you just automatically think, oh shoot, I need to put on liquid foundation, I need to do all this stuff, and a lot of the times you really don't. Don't get me wrong, I'm a big time fan of makeup, period, so obviously I love trying out different foundations, but sometimes I just want a quick on the go look, and this is what I typically do when I'm just like, okay, I got about 15 minutes to get ready, let's go. Okay, so now let's get right into the tutorial. So the first thing is you always want to prime. Even though you are not using a liquid foundation, you still want to prime and have a really nice base for your face. So the one I've been using is this Murad one. This is the Invisiblur Perfecting Shield. Honestly, this is pretty pricey, but it is worth every single cent. If you have a primer that has an SPF in it, definitely use this because this has an SPF of 30. The reason why I want to use something with an SPF is because most of the times my powders don't really have SPF in it, so I want to make sure I'm still protecting my face. And this is because my liquid foundations usually have an SPF, so I'm protected, but since I'm not using liquid, I wanna protect myself one way or another. A little, little dime size, and then I concentrate it mainly around my nose and this area around my nose because that's where I mainly have most of my pores. And then I just start patting it in and spreading it out and also to the forehead. Now I know I said I'm not going to be using any liquid foundation, but I'm going to be using some concealers because I always like to look nice and bright underneath and just look like I got plenty of sleep. So I'm just going to start placing a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This one is in the shade Sand. This is a little light right now. I'm going to be placing medium just right on top because I find that this is giving me like the perfect shade right now. I'll blend this in with my Beauty Blender and just get that going first. So say that you do have a wing liner like I do right now, this is definitely the time just to kind of clean it up and sharpen it up if you want to. And then just blend that edge out. Now that I've done my under eye concealer, now I like to set it with my favorite under eye powder. I'm not going to be taking my all over face powder. I'm just gonna place a little of my RCMA on my little dish right here on my tray. This is a Ben Nye tray. I really, really love this. Super handy. I'm just gonna take this and now just start setting my concealer, only my concealer. I mean, this is a translucent powder where you could place it all over, but that's not going to add any extra coverage, so that's why I'm only keeping it underneath my eyes. I'm not one to really bake, so I just like to just sweep it off pretty quick. I barely let it sit because I find that it just makes the area look dry sometimes for me. Now I'm going to balance out the rest of my face. I'm going to show you my favorite powder foundation. So the powder foundation that I love to use is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination, not Illuminati. Now what I love about this powder foundation is that they do have a regular celebration foundation, but it, there's no illumination but I like illumination because I find that it just gives the skin a really nice glow I have combination skin where I'm oily in my t-zone and normal all around and honestly I haven't had any issues because this is a powder so it's basically keeping me you know put in place so I just like that extra glow and I think it's a beautiful set even on top of liquid foundations so I do have two different shades I have the shade medium right here I also have Whoops. And I also have the shade Tan. I'm going to be using Tan because I don't know if you can tell, but I have tanned my body a little. I'm trying to get brown biscuit again. Now what I love about this powder is that it's definitely buildable. So say that I wanted like more of a light coverage and just a sweep just to balance out my skin tone, I can definitely do that. But if I want to just kind of buff in a little bit more and get fuller coverage, say that I have like some homies partying or something like that and they don't want to go home, I can definitely cover them up. Now next is what brush I like to use. For me personally, I just like using a fluffy brush. This one's by Sigma F30 Large Powder. I just love these fluffy brushes for it. But if you want to concentrate the powder to get a more fuller coverage look do something more dense so this one's really great for those days this is a real techniques one it just says buffing brush so you can just 
buff that powder right in and it's going to be great. I know It Cosmetics has their own brushes, but these happen to be the brushes that I love to use. So just any of your fluffy brushes or something that's really nice and dense like this will work great. Okay, so now all I do is I basically just take my powders, just depending like what skin tone I am, I'll mix them or whatever. Uh, today I'm just going to take tan and I'm just going to just place the powder in and start buffing in circular motions around my face. I kind of stay away from my under eye area because I want that nice and bright, so it's still giving me that highlighted look. And what's great is that this powder is going to make you balance out your skin tone so fast and just so quick that it's like, it's you're out the door so fast. That's why I always get really proud whenever Glenn's like, oh, are you ready? I'm just like, I'm ready. Because that's when I'll usually do my powder foundation routine because it just goes so much faster than having to blend out the foundation and make sure it's okay, make sure it's set, it's settled, it's, you know, all that stuff. For, but for this, it's just so fast and easy. I'm done. And just so you can see my face, it doesn't look cakey or powdery. It is just a beautiful coverage. I'm obsessed with this powder foundation. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you a little tip because sometimes when you do your eyebrows, like today I was very lucky. I did it pretty straight where I didn't have to carve out the top. But if you're someone that really likes a defined brow like myself, what I'll do is I'll do my concealer and with that I'll take like a darker concealer and then carve it out and then blend it and then kind of wipe off the excess so I don't have any residual concealer there I'll set my under eye and then I'll be set but if you're someone that you're okay and you did your brows fine then you are good to go but sometimes I find that I can't get this powder foundation like right there where say like I'm a little bit more tan and I want to just hit that spot where it looks unbalanced I'll take a small fluffy brush then dip it into there and then just start buffing this around the eyebrows to get that area because sometimes when you start buffering you start going by your eyebrow and there's been a plenty of times where I've wiped off my brow and you can just balance it like that and you're good to go. I really like this look because it still keeps a really nice highlighted area and say that you wanted to have more like highlight in these areas, you can always put the concealer there, buff it out and set it and then just place the powder on top. Now from here you can just do your blush and highlight and you're good to go, slap on a lippy. But if you're someone where you have a little bit extra time because this whole face routine literally took probably like two minutes, it takes me two minutes. I put my concealer, dab it out, place it, sweep it away then just put on the powder and I'm it's so quick say that you want to take an extra step you can still go into your bronzing routine like normal just do whatever you want to do I'm just gonna bronze just a little just in my cheekbones to kind of carve them out a little this is just my smash my small spot smashbox contour kit and you can just hit those areas and just hit those cheeks to make them nice and flush. This one's Snapdragon from Becca. And then of course you can just add your highlight when you use Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop stick. This is a Extreme Butter Gloss from NYX. Trust Leches. Um, obviously I have my brows on my eyes, but my eyes I just did a simple sweep of a middle color, a lid color, winged out my liner, which I do all the time. So this honestly takes me like about at the most seven minutes to do my brows and my eyes and just slab on some lashes. And yeah, and then the rest, it like like I said, it's super, super quick. That is it, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy and subscribe to my channel because it is free. 99 and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Woo -woo.